first <laughs> wow my baby you probably did that what's up y'all it's your girl 404 golden and today we're going to be catching up because i know i've been gone for way too long i just want to come on here and check and um catch up with y'all while i take my crusty ass we down child we gonna get right into it i had this is a sewing I had this in for about three weeks, darn near a month. And y'all, I've been ready. I'm looking in the mirror over here. I've been ready to take this shit out because the girl who I went to, like, I'm not going to lie. She didn't install the closure like how I wanted. Because, see, I know I'm a sweater. So, and I work out. That's why I want to get a sew-in as opposed to, like, getting a wig. So, my hair could be in. I won't have to worry about, you know, shit slipping and sliding. But, you know. So, I told her I wanted her to like sew the tracks into like where my braids are right here. And she didn't do that. And I don't know whatever lace glue she used, but literally my lace came up the same day. Like, I'm gonna pray that I don't um, cut my hair because my hair done got so long. I'll insert a clip for y'all so y'all can see how long my hair done got. But you should really already not see it if you follow me on Instagram. But I'll put my Instagram on the screen so you can go ahead and follow me there. But y'all, so much has changed in my life. So many good things. So many, like I said, major changes. Like, if you didn't know, um, I moved to Houston almost two years ago. So I don't even live in Atlanta anymore. Um, do I want to go back? A lot of people be asking me, do I miss Atlanta? Do I want to go back? Yes, I miss Atlanta. Bad as fuck because I hear, like, it's just very different for me. Um... But I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna just try to give it a little more time and see how I like it. Um, I'm really just trying to get out more and explore meeting people more so then maybe I can get like the full experience. Cause I feel like right now I'm just going off the kind of like my business and and just like, you know, the basic stuff like how they food is. Like, I don't know why people be saying Houston got some good food. Where the fuck is it at? That's what I'm trying to see. Cause I ain't even been able to find the chick. Look at my I'm probably gonna put this back in. I'm gonna um do I'm gonna fix it though. I'm gonna do something else to it or something. I don't know shit. This shit. Then the other day I had I was putting I was some seeds for my music video and I'm like why the fuck my man like your stream is showing like what is this black shit is that thread? I'm like that's the stream that's the thread. Like why is my thread showing? It's long as piece of thread that's not it low as fuck. You got the long pieces of thread throughout red hair. Like, girl, they can see that. I'm just taking this shit out. I'm gonna do something else real cute. So stay tuned for that. Make sure, like I said, y'all follow me on Instagram for that. But y'all, let's get into it. Like, everything that's been going on. Like I said, I moved to Houston. Um, also, I started my hair business out here. I restarted my hair business out here. Um, and everything has like, I really just been taking it seriously going full place. Cause before I was like doing hair, but I wasn't doing it full time. So I went full time out here when I was, I think about four months pregnant. And it has been a journey. I'm going to make a separate video on like my hair journey and how I built my business up from scratch and a whole other place y'all. When I moved here, I did not know nobody here like, I want to get that shit completely straight. When I moved here, the only person that I knew was my landlord and my neighbor and my man. Okay? I didn't know nobody. I didn't have no friends. I didn't have no connection. I didn't have shit. I literally came out here and started from scratch. Started to do, turn over to do me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we're trying to find my husband. Okay. Um, so, anyways. So that was definitely a challenge and then oh like y'all heard me just say i was pregnant i did have a baby i can't believe i'm fucking saying that. <laughs> hey i can't believe i'm saying that i had a baby um blue is one he actually taking a nap right now he normally at school y'all but tell me why my baby not got a disease from his school so right now I just got him at home with me and he got a cold. He just got over his book disease. Day. He has a cold, so I'm gonna wait for a minute. I'm about to find him a new daycare. Really well, I'm I'm gonna say this. I'm contemplating. Okay. Who the hell got time? Like when it, when my um my man told me, oh yeah, the doctor said he um 
for y'all because you know, look, if you really got a good size, that's why I be saying side note, that's why I be saying like watch your head kids with because whether y'all together or not, your baby father should be helping you with the child's doctor's appointments and all that. Like he took the baby to the doctor and he like, yeah, the doctor said he has hands, foot, and mouth disease from school. I'm like, from school? Like, I'm completely lost right now because I'm like, how in the world are you getting something? I hope y'all can hear me because I am talking to the Let me turn. Like, it's really scary, you know, and daycare is not cheap. For those of y'all who don't have kids, I was like, right now, you know, if you keep that way. Because daycare is not cheap. And you have to provide all their supplies and all that, which I don't mind, baby. It's my baby. Like, what are you saying? I do for him, I do it for him, whatever he needs done, but it's just like, I'm sending my child there under y'all's care, and he's come to me with diseases, don't fuck no. Feel me, like, it's, it really makes a parent uneasy, and see, I'm a new mother, so I already be, I don't be knowing, and like I told y'all, I don't know about it, so I don't be knowing, like, what's a good daycare, I be trying to look out for good stuff, um, you know, and I read the reviews on there, um, they care and I'm just like okay well this might be a decent one it was really close to our old house because now we stay in a house before we stayed in like a two-story like duplex the house was set up like it was really set up like a townhouse um yeah y'all business has been going great though y'all already know it's the slow season people want to say it's really not but yeah it is it's the slow season it's November right now right before Thanksgiving um of course, because I'm not gonna press them on. Y'all, I have made so many videos and not posted them because I just be getting so caught up in life. But I had told myself, I'm like, no, I'm gonna get a routine and I'm gonna make time to get back on my YouTube shit because I be missing y'all so freaking much. Like, I really, really, really do. I really do. It's like, I'm just interested to show you guys how much I have changed over the years, how much I have just became a new. Like, I'm not even a new person, but just a better version of myself. And that's what we all should be striving for, to be the best version of ourselves, you know? My hair has grown so much in this sewing. Can y'all see that? Like, I went to Puerto Rico again. I went with my man. We had a good time. Um, Not the video y'all saw. That was just me and a friend. But, y'all, me and my man went. It was a whole nother experience. Like, Going on a vacation is just a whole nother vibe. I'll insert some clips. I'm actually gonna upload that vlog for y'all. At the end of the year, I'm probably gonna do like a compilation of like vlogs from over the years that I have started. Um, that I still have, cause that'd be the crazy part. Like I still had a footage and everything, but I just won't post it, won't edit it. Like what's your thing? Um, I'm looking to give y'all way more like different in family content too. Like y'all be a lot going on. I'm gonna be helping the girl these boss up and really just show y'all like how to build yourself up, how to transform yourself into that new version of yourself because we all try to be the best version of ourselves. Sometimes we don't know. Sometimes we don't know how to get there or maybe you just need that person to just break that shit all the way down for you or whatever the case may be. Um, I do offer classes like on my business page so you know but y'all i just really been kicking it up living life y'all y'all don't even understand like whew, i really have i just been happy and you know on the road to personal growth for real got one of my baby juice box for you something i am learning in life and in adulthood is that it's really hard to find genuine friends that are on your wavelength um and like keep them because people are so fucking weird nowadays and it's like it's no type of a lot of people don't have a moral compass then you have those friends that are dating for an aesthetic even though bitch i am the aesthetic but it, it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up <gasps> oh my fucking god Oh my fucking god, I just cut my hair. <sighs> I definitely just cut my hair. <laughs> it's all good, y'all. Y'all already know. If you've been following me for a while, you know, baby, I went completely bald. I don't give a fuck. 
Y'all didn't know I'm 21 now. I'm actually going to be 22 in like, I think, two weeks or some shit. Yeah, I'm actually going to be 22 in two weeks. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. I started this YouTube channel when I was, I think, 15. So y'all have damn near, we have damn near been together for 10 fucking years, y'all. All 13, I think, almost 14,000, y'all. <laughs> if we locked in, and I'm switching that. Right here, <laughs> what the fuck? Me and my finna be struggling edges because I can be over here cutting my hair. It's really the knot that is installed on the edges. Like, girl, you ain't have to do all that. You ain't have to do all that. You really did. You ain't have to do all that. You really did. Get all this hair out, cut out my head. I'm not a man nobody but myself. Cause I should've been paying close attention. But the way she got these hoes, not it is crazy. And she's just way too damn here with her. Let him help me like I was supposed to, but I'm just impatient and I'm gonna keep working like a crusty lady. Y'all feel me? You don't even walk around here looking crusty. Then go out to the villains who even learn how to stay on here because they don't want to keep waiting on their hairstyles. Like, even though certain styles, oh it just looks better when they do it. When we do it. Ooh, Ooh I was gonna cut my hair again. I had to catch myself. I could cut all my shit off and sell it to somebody to make a bob wig. This shit, raw pinky curls. Raw pinky curls, bitch. Oh, no, it's a round thought, but I'm gonna say why you're thinking. Is that shit true? They said Beyonce had two twin girls grow out their hair so she could use their hair to make a wig. I don't think that shit true. Do you think she really that? Like, I feel like that's a little excessive. I'm just saying. I'm just curious. Yo, y'all, I feel like at this point in life, it's really nothing to do but get some money. Like, even before I had my son, I feel like now that I've had my son, I just take everything super serious. Like, not I'm not saying, like, I can't joke around. Like, nah, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, anything that I do, I feel like I'm going to say I do YouTube or even if, like, for the longest, I just wasn't even saying I do YouTube. I was just like, you know, it's kind of like, it's whatever. Like, I'm not dealing with it, but that's just because... Y'all, I was just trying to find, I like to bring good content, more than the story. And I'm not a half asser so I'd rather wait until I can bring you guys content consistently, which now I can. And I'll give you guys some insights to, you know, what I'm doing here, when I'm at the salon, you know, all that. And it will be good. Um... I'm actually in the process of transitioning to a salon, so I'll definitely give you guys some insight on that. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to make a separate channel like for my business or if I'm just going to show everything on here, but y'all know I got my music, I got everything going on. Now, this is literally my first time getting a sewing since like, damn, when the last time I had sewing? I think the last time I had a solo was for like eighth grade prom. Like the first and last time I had so ever since then I've been wearing wigs. So I like to come in. I like to come in. Or I wear a quickie. Like my thing is I don't like like even right now how I'm taking this out and like I'm cutting my hair and shit like that. Like I don't like stuff like that. Even though see I practice what I preach and I feel like styles like these, a stylist should have an option to where you can add on a takedown and you'll be able to schedule that with her at a later time like i have that on my website for my clients for like soft locks and stuff like that because y'all know soft locks aren't really hard to take out it's just about your technique and some people really just don't understand how to take them out and they'll end up they'll end up just cutting their hair or whatever have you so but y'all yeah, just prefer a quick weave like it's easy to if you're doing it yourself a quick weave if you go to somebody a so that's what i say Especially depending on your lifestyle and how long you want to keep the hair, but you could also like take out one set of hair and just put some new hair in. Especially if you're doing like closures and stuff like that, because really the braids be good for the most part, even though I'm noticing like for so is I'm really only gonna be able to. I mean, we'll see next time I go to somebody else because my hair is just not secure, like it's kind of you know just out and it, it's like it's grown out the so in. 
wouldn't have been able to, the hair wouldn't have been secured. You know, like, you can wear something like this underneath your wig, like, because what is your wig attached to? It's already sewn down to a cap. The girl is that get it, get it, okay? But I'm definitely going to start back doing hair reviews and stuff like that. Um, and my little sister has locks, so I'm going to be showing y'all, like, different styles that I do with her locks, like, whether it be protective styles with some hair or, you know, even like little lock styles on her doing transformations and stuff like that. And I'm actually getting ready to add, my clients don't even know this, but I'm actually getting ready to add makeup onto my service. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe because I'm cutting my hair out and everything. Make sure that y'all subscribe. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm going to be bald when I take these braids out. I'm probably gonna do a takedown video with y'all so y'all can see if I'm bald or not. Y'all think I'm gonna be bald when I take these down? How much hair y'all think I'm lose? Oh, I'm dying. I'm high key dying inside, bro. Like, not even gonna lie. Okay, y'all. I done, uh, got all the hair out. Let me, I need to go get all this thread out and make sure. Stay tuned for my next video when I'm taking down these braids. And she's doing a lift check because I'm pretty sure I don't went from here to fucking here. <laughs> but it was good catching up with y'all. Miss y'all. I love y'all. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up this video. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and on TikTok. Your girl on TikTok. Make sure you do all those and I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.